All right, next up, I'm going to uh, make a trade with the Chicago Cubs. And you know what? We're going to start barreling a little bit here uh, with this trade. So uh, with the Chicago Cubs, Cubs I'm going to trade uh, Noah Schultz to the Cubs for Matt Shaw. This is just high-end pitching prospect for high-end hitting prospect. And a couple thoughts here. The Cubs, they do not generally grow uh, these types of pitchers. And they have had trouble the last decade growing them, which is why that last core stalled out because they couldn't get the pitching to come in behind it. Now they've made some good signs and trades and they do have a, a good rotation now, but they don't have anything like this. They don't have anything with the Noah Schultz kind of upside here. Conversely, on the Matt Shaw side, Treasy, um, he hits and he's kind of ready to be a major leaguer, but uh, his natural position is second. They have uh, Nico Horner there, who's a terrific defender and not displacing him. They were trying to teach him how to play third base, but apparently that was going so well that they had to make a trade at the uh, deadline to get Paredes <laughs> because they're like, well, you're not playing fucking third base for us. And so uh, the Matt Shaw thing is really interesting to me because he's the caliber of hitter that would be helpful for the White Sox. He's kind of positionless, like like we mentioned, in the, like Nolan Gorman, similar uh, type of guy, although Nolan Gorman's done at the major league level. Um, and so this would be flipping top-end uh, pitching prospect, top-end hitting prospect. What do you think? So I think people are going to be mad at you and message you constantly because I traded <laughs> Noah Schultz last year, and I think I, I think I even overpaid for what I was doing, but like um, – People were just like, you can't trade that guy. He's like the perfect pitcher. And it's like, he's fastball like, shape sucks, apparently. And it, it's that's, like, that's a problem. <laughs> but at that point, he pitched like 29 innings. And like the Sox continue to like baby this guy. And yeah. like, I'm worried that like, like how, how long is it until we see Noah Schultz in the majors? Like, that's the only thing that concerns the, the Sox usage of him is just the, the most concerning thing to me. If he's great, just fucking bring him up. Like, let's let's have him. Well, he's like, not ramped up yet. Treasy was it, eighty innings this year. Or something like yeah, that. I know. Was it, like, was I, well, I don't. I don't really get that either. Like, so, so like they're they're really taking it slow with this guy. Yeah. And I don't know why. Like, is is there a concern that he like can't handle handle the load? Like, he'll fall apart. Like, so like, there's just I don't know. Like, I would love Noah Schultz to be fucking awesome. In the majors, Ian Esker is saying probably mid late year. I'm guessing next year. Yeah. What tells you that though? Like they've absolutely <laughs> babied this guy through the minors. Like you think that like he's half a year away. Like and what does that half year look like? Is he like pitching like three innings an outing and like every <laughs> seven days? Yeah, so it's interesting. Like yeah. I like I want it, like it's I like Noah Schultz. Let, let's let's put that out there. I think he is a very interesting prospect. I would love to see more of him. But the way the Sox have treated him so far, I'm I would like to know what their plan is and then think about like okay, I would if if your plan is that, you know, like that he's going to you know show up in 2027 after <laughs> uh, 5 years in the the minors, like I I would trade him. Like, what are you, you're wasting this guy. <laughs> well, the timeline also looks like, uh, he says, uh, mid to late year. The timeline is also if everything goes perfectly. Wasn't the timeline, uh, uh, Colson Montgomery will be here by June. <laughs> or not. <laughs> you know, sometimes things go awry and uh, people don't, don't end up being here. The, the, the comments universally hate this deal, which makes me love it even more, Treasy. That's how I know I, I nailed it. Because they're scared to get rid of no show. Look, we can't be scared. We can't be scared. If we want to get hitting, you're going to have to give up something, baby. And they're similarly ranked. I think Schultz is a little higher on, on most of the like top 100 rankings. But there's risk involved in those arms, man, especially lefty arms, especially six foot nine inch arms. And so it is what it is. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see the dissension. I agree with you, Tracy. When we put this out there on Twitter at some point or put it out in the blog, oh, people, people, people are going to hate it. The Cubs fans will hate it and the Sox fans will hate 